Hey everyone. So welcome back to the Community Influencer Show. I'm your host. I'm Erin Chung and I teach modern real estate agents how to generate leads on demand so that they can grow their real estate businesses on autopilot. So thank you so much for joining me today. And today we're going to be talking about the three best ways to automate your social media. Okay. So Uh, this is really important because what I want you to do is I want you to be able to automate your social media without automating your relationships. Okay. That is going to be the most important thing by far in this whole entire process. So I want to make sure that we're doing that. So before we get started, I want to let you know that this show is sponsored by Real Estate Website in a Weekend. Real Estate Website in a Weekend is a free course that I offer. It is valued over $9.97, but you can get it for free. And the reason why I offer it is because... Essentially, every real estate agent needs a website, but a lot of you guys I know are renting your websites and renting a website is like renting a house, right? You have zero control over anything that you're doing and it's just, you're kind of at the whim at whatever your free broker site provides or your placer site or whatever, nothing against those brands. However, it's still renting. And as a real estate agent, you know, all of the downfalls and pitfalls of renting. So if you need a stunning real estate website with IDX built on WordPress, I have a free course that you can take. And so all you need to do is go to realestatewebsiteinaweekend.com in order to get that free course. Okay. If you want it, just go there and it's yours. So what I want to do is today, again, talk about automating social media. So everyone who knows me knows that I am on social media a lot. Okay. So that's like not a secret. So I'm on social media all the time because I'm marketing my business. I'm on social media because I'm like learning about all the new things in order to keep up, to let you guys know um, what's happening all the time as well. And also because I have an academy filled with real estate agents and I'm constantly looking, looking at like real estate information, I'm seeing a lot of the same ads that you guys are seeing. And also because I'm licensed agent myself, I'm getting targeted again with the same ads that you guys are getting also. And what I keep seeing over and over and over is automate your social media, automate your social media. And I'm like, you can't. Okay. (laughs) That is impossible. Um, I've tried, I've tried every single which way to quote unquote automate my social media and it doesn't work. Okay. And the reason why again is because you cannot automate a relationship. And the whole point of social media is that it's inherently dot, dot, dot social. Okay. Social media has to be social. And when you take out that social element of social media, it's, it doesn't work anymore. And so it may work for a little while, but it's not going to work in the long term. That's not a long term strategy. So what I want to talk about today is basically like, again, (sighs) If you think to like anytime you're interacting with some sort of like bot or auto poster or something like that, like it's almost like what you're doing on social media is what like the bank or your cable company or um, your cell phone provider does to you, right? So like when I try to call Verizon and I can't get anyone because it's an auto bot that's like trying to direct me to the right path or whatever. And like, I just want to talk to someone because the phone should inherently be social, yeah? And for whatever reason, companies have forgotten that. And so I don't want you to make the same mistake with this vehicle because this platform is essentially the new phone. Okay. Social media is the new phone. So when you are online and you're on all of these, um, you know, you're posting your social media and all of those things, you need to keep that social element in mind again. Okay. So stop doing like the auto bot posting and auto posters and third party tools and all this stuff that promise you X, Y, and Z. It's ridiculous. Anyone that tells you that you can automate social media by having them auto post on your behalf is lying to you. Okay. It's snake oil. Don't fall for it. It's not a thing. And the reason why is because yeah, that could work a little bit in the interim, but then once people figure out that it's just an Autobot posting on your behalf, they're gonna see that and run like miles, miles away. People know nowadays, they know that that's not authentic. So posting and ghosting is not a long-term social media strategy, it's just not. And I want to just let you know that that's like something that you guys have to be very, very wary of and to watch out for all of these companies, okay? So that's number one. Number two is also, it's like, 
if you think like Facebook and YouTube and Instagram, Twitter even, like if you think that these companies, these social media platforms don't know that that's what you're doing, you're wrong, okay? So when you post from a third party tool, automatically they know and they'll basically punish those posts by burying them in people's news feeds because here's why. Platforms like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, et cetera, um, YouTube, they make their money through ads. And the way that they make their money is when people are actually on the platform using the platform. So if you're posting from a third party company, they know that you're not on the platform using it actively. So therefore they're like, oh, nope, we're going to degrade like that post from that person. Okay. That's really how it works. And I understand, I get it um, because that's how they make their money. Okay. So that being said, um, the algorithms can spot you coming from a mile away and the people can spot it from a mile away. So you're going to get less reach, engagement, comments, shares, likes, reactions, all of the above when you're choosing to use some third party autobot to post all of your stuff. Okay. So the whole point of this video, again, is to give you three ways that you can automate your social media, because there are some things that you can do to make it go by a lot faster. And um, these are ways that are proven ways that you can actually do that without being punished by algorithms and all of the above. Okay. So let me show you how you actually can automate some of the processes. So again, the, the, the trick here is to automate the process, but not automate the relationship. Okay. That's what we're going to focus on. So number one, tip number one is you're going to want to plan everything out in advance. Now, I know this seems very daunting and a lot of you guys are like, wait, what? <laughs> like, yes, I'm telling you to sit down in one afternoon and plan out your entire social calendar for an entire month. You can do it. There's people in our academy that are doing it all the time. This is what I teach. This is what we do in our business. Every single month we sit down, we plan everything out as a team, and then it gets scheduled um, onto all of the platforms. And that's what we do. So we take maybe like a few hours every single month, plan it all out. And I expect for you to do the exact same thing. That is one way that you can make this process a lot faster. So one other thing to note, because some of you guys have been asking me this, if you need help with planning out like your content, your captions, your graphics, all of that stuff, we cover that extensively in the Lead Strategy Academy, okay? So a lot of you guys are asking me how to do all of that stuff. So I'm telling you that that's covered. If you're an Academy member, you already have access to all of that stuff. And if you're not an Academy member, join the Academy, okay? So that's number one. Number two, I want you to schedule all of your social media posts. So another way to kind of like automate the process is to schedule everything out at once. So again, you're gonna plan out Tip number one is, was to plan out an entire month for the year. Tip number two is to schedule it all out, okay? So you're gonna take like maybe about like another hour to schedule out every single social media post that you have for the entire month, okay? You can do this in one afternoon. And the way that you do it is on Facebook, you are going to use their native scheduler. Okay. Do not, again, do not use an autobot to do this. You're going to sit down on Facebook in on your Facebook page. And if you have a Facebook group, you're going to do that. And you're basically just going to sit down and you're going to plan out, like post everything out and schedule it all out on Facebook. Okay. Now, if you are using, um, Instagram, unfortunately, Instagram does not allow us to schedule directly on Instagram right now. However, what I recommend is using a tool like Later. You can even use a tool like Planoly. I love Later because it's free. So if you're posting like 30 posts a month, which is great because that's like one post a day, Later is a totally free tool. So what I do is I go, um, we, my team, we do this. We go on to Later, plan everything out. And then when it's time to post on social media, get a ping on the cell phone and then we actually copy it from later and post it directly ourselves from later to Instagram. It takes five seconds, okay? So plan everything out on later. When it's time to post, later we'll let you know. You'll post it yourself, Not don't let later post it, post it yourself onto Instagram and then you're good to go. You move on with your day. Like I said, it's a five second process. Now, YouTube, if you're doing YouTube videos, which I know a lot of you guys are, 
YouTube does also allow you to schedule content as well. So if you have one video that you're doing, you can post that video to Facebook and then you can also um, schedule it to YouTube. So when you're p scheduling on Facebook, just schedule it straight to YouTube as well. Okay. That's how you would do that. All right. So scheduling is key, 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 key. All right. Now, if you've sat down and done everything in the beginning of the month, you should already have all of that content planned out. So the actual like physical scheduling of it should only take about an hour. You can hire an assistant, a nephew, and whatever. It doesn't matter. Your admin, anyone can do this. You can outsource that really quickly, okay, um, to go ahead and schedule it all for you. Number three is time block, 30 minutes a day to respond. So what I like to do, uh, actually, let me do 60 minutes, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon, okay? So 60 minutes a day. And... The reason why time blocking is so big, like time blocking is big for every single person on earth who's productive. But if you're a business owner, time blocking is crucial, okay? People ask me, Aaron, how are you doing all of the stuff that you're doing every single day? Number one, I have a good team. <laughs> That's like number one by far. But number two, I'm able to do it because I time block everything. There is not one second in my day that goes unaccounted for unless I'm like putting out a fire or something, you know, unexpected comes up or whatever. And the reason why I do that is because left to my own devices, I promise you, if I don't time block, I will end up on Facebook or YouTube watching some cat videos. I watch like Korean choreography videos, like makeup tutorials for like glowy, uh, you know, how to get your, your JLo glow. And it's like, before I know it, I'm like in the innermost depths of the internet. Like, and I'm like, how, I don't know if you, have you ever done this? Like, tell me in the comments below, have you done this where you're like, you're like, you know what? I'm going to be productive, blah, blah, blah. And then before you know it, you're watching something like babies and puppies. And you're like, how did I even get here? So in order to prevent that, you have to time block. Okay. Social media is just like any other form of lead generation. If you were cold calling or if you were door knocking, you would have a set time block where you would be doing that. You would have a note on your door for your office that says, do not disturb. And in Keller Williams, they teach you three hours a day. Like, Rain or shine, lead generation time, that is 100% focused lead gen time, okay? Now, you cannot treat social media any differently than you do any other form of lead generation. We're not doing this for fun, we're doing this for business to get leads, right? So in order to do it for business and to get leads, you have to be 100% focused on your time blocking time when you're doing that, okay? So again, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon. Now, when you're doing that, like what I also like to do, just as like a pro tip, okay? So I time block my year, my quarter, and then for my quarter, my month, month, week, week, day, day, hour, hour, minute, okay? That is how I am able to pump out so much content, so many new things, launch new products, like have time with my family, all of those things. I start off with the year and then I move backwards all the way down to the minute, okay? Again, if I don't do that, I'll be watching cat videos and I, I don't even own a cat, okay? So that's just, I'm just keeping it real. That's how you have to do it, all right? You need to do the same thing. So Part of automating social media is time blocking. And I realize that that's not technically automation, but that's how you need to do it, okay? Now, the other thing is, is outsourcing, okay? So outsourcing is part of automation. The point of automation is that, so you don't have to do it, right? So if you're automating things, then outsourcing comes into play too. Again, you can hire someone, you can pass it to an assistant, you can do you know anything that you need to do in order to make sure that you don't have to do it, okay? But all of your content, remember, your content needs to come from you because you are the face of the brand, all right? Do not outsource your social media to the point where no one even knows it's you. You're not putting your face, you're not doing videos, you're not doing the content, you're not doing any of that stuff. And then on top of it, you're using an Autobot auto poster. No, that's not gonna work. Like, please make sure that you are keeping the social in social media. That is 
very important because a lot of you guys, I'm going to keep it honest and keep it real with you guys. A lot of you are telling me that you're not getting leads from social media and from your ads and those types of things. And then I go on your page and I see why. It's all Autobot stuff. It's stuff that's boring. It's not branded. It's not like I wouldn't engage with you either because there's no there's no social aspect of it. Now, if I go to your Instagram and I see pictures of you and I see, you know, you've done a couple live videos and I see your stories and I'm like, oh, wow, this person's really interesting. I'm going to follow you all day. But if I go on your Instagram and it's an Autobot, I'm going to leave immediately. And I'm not like, why Why would I in, in, like engage with that? Okay. You have to think about it from the person that you're trying to market's perspective. If you're looking for potential buyers and sellers and you're treating them like a robot, that's the response that you're going to get back. You are only going to get what you like get. Um, you're only going to get what you put out there. Okay. So sometimes it's not the algorithm. Sometimes it's just your content. You need help with your content. Again, I have a solution for that. Now, the bad news is that you're probably thinking like, okay, I've been auto posting. Um, I've been using third party schedulers. I've been, you know, not planning out all my social media at once. Like that's the bad news. The good news is that I can help you. Okay. Now, if you're part of our, my academy, fabulous. You got all this. You're good to go. If you're not part of the academy, I can still help you for free. Okay. And here's how I'm going to do it. If you go to honeybarmedia.com slash calendar, you can download a copy of the exact content calendar that I have in my program where I teach people how to plan out their social media. Okay. It'll give you the categories, the buckets, all of that stuff. Like on Monday, you're going to talk about this on Tuesday. You're going to talk about this. Like it'll give you an exact plan of what to post every single day of the week. Okay. So you'll get that if you go to honeybarmedia.com slash calendar. That's the exact plan that we use in LSA. And that can be yours if you go to that link. Okay. Now, let me just switch over really quickly. I see some comments. And so if you have a question, type it in the comments below and I'll go ahead and get to your comment. And even if you're watching this in the replay, no problem. Put your comment below and I will still go in and answer all of your questions as well. So don't be afraid to, to do that. So um, we have Amanda. So Amanda K, she is basically saying first time catching you live, just joined LSA, excited to get started. Hi from Minnesota. Amanda, thank you. Like, I'm so excited that you're part of LSA. That's amazing to me. I cannot wait to hear all of your successes. So thank you for joining me live and thank you for being a part of the program as well. Um, Monica, Monica has been in LSA for a while. So thank you, Monica, for joining us. Yes, she does it every month. Monica is crushing it and I'm so excited for her as well. So absolutely perfect. And then <laughs> Mallory says, lipstick on point. Thank you so much, Mallory. I appreciate it. Today, what am I wearing today? Let me see, I'll show you. MAC, pink pigeon, in case you're wondering. I know a lot of people, I, for whatever reason, I get a lot of comments about lipstick. So. If you ever want to know, you can always just ask me. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm so excited that you guys were able to join me. And again, if you have comments, leave them below. Let me know where you're from. I always like to know where you guys are from too. So don't forget to tell me where you are tuning in from. If you want to ask me questions about this episode or anything else, please join the free Facebook group. The free Facebook group is called Community Influencer Show Insiders. And um, all you have to do is go to honeybarmedia.com slash group. So again, that's honeybarmedia.com slash group. And you can go ahead and join our uh, free Facebook group there. I'd love to see you inside there. It's just a place for like people to hang out, um, share ideas, and just um, gather for ask me questions about the show, all of those things. And then finally, I go live once a week for amazing agents like you. Um, I give you tips and tricks on how to grow your real estate business. Again, generate leads on demand so that you can grow consistently on autopilot. If that is something that you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe. So if you're on Facebook and you're watching on Facebook, click the follow button and then it'll notify you whenever I go live. If you are watching on the podcast, please subscribe. And then if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and click the subscribe button with the little bell because then it'll notify you again when I go live. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next episode.